Fine, so we, we're gonna we're gonna start and continue actually. Shia from last week. And uh, I think the last week or two we covered the first part of the conversation when it comes to the very big cloud called electricity and shadows. We discussed the concept of heat element fire of shadows. So we have to know, now people know electricity is a Fulikus, the Reiser, the Ramunon, Kazanish, etc. We have to know that whatever we discuss until now is not getting into this conversation. What we discuss until now was a, a very different conversation. We talk about fire. Heat element of Shabbos, an oven, a boiler, all of this stuff, it's getting into Malechas Mavir, Malechas Mechaber. So we're talking about fire. So the conversation was rather it's considered to be fire or not. So this is the number one in the conversation. There was already an already word in the first the first part of the conversation. And that's it. It's not getting into the general machlog, so we're talking about electricity in general, rather the rice, the rambuno, and etc. It's a different conversation. Totally different conversation. So what we're gonna talk from now on, hopefully we'll cover that once here. We're going to talk about all the machines that doesn't have, I mean, doesn't have fire whatsoever. You can talk about a fridge, you can talk about you know, some lights, we're going to get into it. Or we can talk about an air conditioner. And even at some point you can talk about the cell phone. Right? The cell phone doesn't have any fire into it. Nothing is getting red hot in those machines. Now the question is, there's no fire. There's not even a heat element, not even a gekedash of mattress like we discussed last week. No fire whatsoever. Now what's the problem? What's the problem to plug in an air conditioner on Shabbos? What's the problem to turn on an air conditioner on Shabbos? What do you do? It's not a fire. It's not even getting hot. Same thing goes about uh, all other things. And what was very popular at that time, the telephone. And the telephone came, came in, the, in the very beginning time. Interesting. Telephone was out there still before people had electricity in the houses. So the conversation, the person was, am I allowed to speak on the phone on Shabbos? What am I doing? Picking up the phone, electric waves flowing into the circles back and forth. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, co I'm not causing and I'm not playing with any fire whatsoever. So, what's the big deal? What am I doing? So again, we're putting fire on the side. No matter it's mama, no matter it's mechaber. There's no fire involved. What can be the problem of electricity? What do you know about it? It's fine. Why are we not allowed to turn on the fire? Huh? Uh, what's the most electrical challenge? A circuit. A circuit. So I'm putting together a circuit as what? Electricity is the actual fire. Is an actual fire? It is. What do I mean it's an actual fire? It's a potential fire. It's actual fire that's, that's in a vault format. It's not a flame, it's not a... Uh, oh, sorry, in other words, it's a potential fire. As of now, it's, it's electric. It's not fire, it's blue, it's, it's heat, it's heat. It's, it could be, it could, it could have, it could be even hotter than an actual fire. You could get to a level. But again, potentially, you could get. It's not an actual uh, flame, but it's, it's, the, it's essentially fire. Okay, so very good. It's a, it's a potential fire. More than that, let's, let's, let's be clear about it. Do you think there's fire flowing to the pipes and to the Not wires? Actual flames, but <laughs> what is a fire? What defines fire? Heat that is that is that burns things. Electricity yeah, that, that, that burns things. Burns things that, of course, if you put a a, wire, a live wire <coughs> in something, it's it's, it's going to burn whatever. Your wire is not burning. Also, the wire is not going to burn. Yeah, we have an engineer here. So we're gonna we're gonna try to confirm everything. But what, what we're saying is there's a, there's a flow of electrons running into a circuit. We can see it in the paper over here. That's basically what it is. <coughs> a flow of electrons in the left picture in the top. The flow of electrons is basically running around. And in order for the flow to, to run around, you have to have a full circuit. Now, if this full circuit is being closed, meaning the electrons is running around in the circle, 
So we have a closed circuit here. Right? We have a closed circuit. Now once we have a closed circuit, we have the electrons running around back and forth, now we can do whatever we want. You can run a whole machine, you can run a whole factory based on this electricity. Now, if the conductor is not a good conductor, what's going to happen is the electrons will flow a little bit you know, wrong and they're going to spark. Therefore, with some electric machines, sometimes you're pulling the, you're pulling the plug, it's going to spark. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the connection is not good enough, the conductor is not good enough, right? So therefore, the sparks coming out. Now, in a, in a regular bulb that you can see in the center, if you still remember how an old bulb looked like, what do you have in an old bulb? You have like two pieces of metal, and then like a little metal in the middle. So what's happening is the electrons is getting into it, like the, the circuit is closed into the bulb. The electrons goes into the bulb. Now this little metal over here is not big enough to carry the amount of electrons it's getting in. So what happens is, it starts sparking. Now there's a glass around it, which keeps us inside, and that's basically the bulb. Now, if, not, if, not, if that's not going to be the case, if let's say the conductor will be a good conductor, it's just going to flow electrons, nothing going to happen. There's no sparks, there's no fire, there's nothing. So in other words, like you say, Ari, basically, it's a potential fire over here. Meaning, if something will happen eventually, somehow, it's going to get to a fire level. But as long as the electrons are running, for example, if it's running perfectly in this split unit that we have over here, it runs perfectly, it's running the machine, no fire. If something will go wrong, so the conductor will be so, you know, so good, or not sealed enough, or whatever it is, spark will come out. So now the question is, is potential fire fire? That was most of the conversation to begin with. Most of the folks, some of them try to um, uh, think of electricity as a fire because potentially it's going to have fire. It was, I won't say the name, but one of the folks at that time is, you know, many of the postcards at that time didn't really understand how electric electricity works. So one of them is putting uh, in the beginning of the tube that there's a fire place where they have like full trucks of fire and they're loading it into the wires until it's getting here. There was an understanding of people about, about fire, about electricity. But again, it's wrong. There's no fire whatsoever. It's electrons that, but you, in certain circumstances, sometimes planned, sometimes not planned, it's going to become fire. But as long as the fire is not into the situation, the agreement between the post scheme is that the potential fire is not fire. So this, this we got already out of the way. The potential fire is not fire. There was still a little conversation about this actual spark that we're talking about, because every electric machine, especially in the old times, used to cause sparks because the connection wasn't so well. Today, they're trying to make it you know, more efficient, so it's not going to happen because it's actually um, um, killing the, the lifetime of the machine. But at that time, it was very popular to have these sparks in order to get the machine running. So, some post scheme we were thinking, you know, maybe the spark is an issue and such. A, other post scheme also, again, most of the, of the post scheme agreed to say that just spark is not considered fire. In order for something to be considered fire, it has to be strong enough to light, yes, to light another fire. To be, you know, to be solid enough to do something else. Just a spark that you do. This is not considered fire. So again, we're talking about electric machine. Machine. We put aside the old concept of Marvin and Mechaber. Fire doesn't exist over here. And the question is again: So what's the problem? Why are we not allowed to turn an electric machine on? Shabbos. Energy unit. You know, sometimes it's just very hot. Turn on. What's the problem? No problem. Okay. <laughs> It's a good solution. You're a good rabbi. <laughs> so, what became to be a very interesting um, conversation between the Poskim. In the very first one was the Baisitzchok. Sitzchok, a bit of smallest monkeys, was about 200 years ago, one of the biggest Poskim at that time. And he came out and he's talking about a telephone. You can see it in the first uh, you know, paragraph in the sheet. So he's talking about again about a telephone. So there's no fire involved. And he doesn't really give any sources why and when, but basically he says it could be that the only problem is that when you're closing the circuit, you're connected to the third line. 
When you're closing the circuit of the electricity, you're creating a fire. What's meaning? So you're creating electricity, electric circuit, and then what's the problem? You know how to do it in Shabbos. Why? Because it's like this, the concept of moile dryer that we have in the Yimura in Shabbos. What we have in the Yimura in Shabbos and the Yimura in Abai? We have a very interesting concept. We know there's an Easter Shabbos of Moilid. We're not allowed to create new stuff on Shabbos. New, new thing. You're not allowed to create new thing on Shabbos. There's many examples in the Gemur. One example is actually fire. Fire, beside the problem of lighting fire, it's a Moilid Aish. You're creating something new. It's a number one. Other things that talking to you more about, you're taking a piece of ice and you're breaking it. So you're changing it from solid to liquid. You're creating something new. Now the more is more than that. What about if you're putting smell into your clothes? It's all sick in the more by we have it over here on the sheet, but basically what it says over here, how about to put smell in your clothes on showers and Are you allowed? You're not allowed. The more says you're not allowed. Now, the interesting chiddush that we have over here, usually creating something new, is either yesh me'ayim, like fire, there was nothing here, and you turn on a new fire, it's a new metzir, it's a new fact. You can take it a step further and says, you know, even when you're changing the status of something, like we said before, you take a piece of ice, and you're making it from solid to liquid. It's a problem. Now, what do you do when you're putting smell into your cloth? The cloth exists before, the smell exists before, you're just putting it together. What's the problem? But the Gemur says that the fact that you put the smell into the, into the cloth and you're changing it from a regular cloth to a cloth with a good smell, this is also considered to be something new. So this is a Chiddush in the Gemur. So if you're reading the Gemur over here, you see a big Chiddush. Not only if you're creating a total new, new thing, it's a problem. Even if you're putting together two things and it's changing the status of that, it was a piece of cloth, and now it became smell with a good smell. It's also a problem of oil. So the Bais Yitzchak came and says, you know, man, when you're putting electricity into the wire, this machine, all right, the split unit over here, was a dead machine, a dead piece of plastic, right? You turn on what happened, the electron flows into it. It's like the smell getting into the cloth, and it became a pneumatias. It became something that works. So it says that by Sitzchok, if I'm reading the Gemara correctly, I'm seeing over here that to create the pneumatias out of a combination of two things, it's a problem. And therefore, if you're putting the plug into your AC machine, basically what you're doing, you're putting the electrons into the machine, that that piece of plastic is not working. Really? And to turn off? Huh? And to turn off? That's a good question. I'm not sure I have an answer. But, yeah, if you go with that, probably to turn off, it's not so good to have the power of the turn off is easier than take off the snap. What? The turn off is easier than take off the snap. Oh, so your point is a very good point. What are you saying basically now? What are you saying basically? I'm just trying to put a debate over here. Other boss can disagree. Right? What are you saying now? If you think about it, there's a big difference between the, the example in the Gimura than electricity. Why? Like you said, why is it so hard to take out the smell and the plug of the machine? Very simple. The smell became one piece with the cloth. It's like a pneumatias. You have the you have the smell over here? No. It's like a cloth, one piece, smelling cloth. Right. The electric, the electrons is not getting a part of the wires. They're just pouring there because the, the, the circuit were closed. Right? So therefore, other posts can disagree with the with the with the with the Rav the Mesit Chos. And I said, no, it's a big difference. There's a big difference between the the example in the Gemur that you're talking about putting smell into a cloth, into the fact that we're talking about electricity. It was interesting. One of the bigger one here in America. About uh, 150 years ago, it was a rabbi in St. Louis. At the end of his life, he was here in New York. He was, he was leading the debate 
against the Vaisitzchok, against the Chaim Moisa, and other poskim at that time. And there was this point, if you're going to look in the, the third the chap, uh, paragraph over here in the, in the sheet, it says, Ein bechashmal isu moilit, evishi'ikra koyach asoyof shalalektik vamichen moemet shumabaisa mechoyin agdoyle. It says the, the potential fire that we're talking about, the koyach asoyof, is already there. It's sitting there and it's just flowing around within the lines. I'm causing a circuit, I'm letting it in. Opening a circuit, no electrons. It never became a, became like a part of it. It became like a, like a one piece with the wire. And therefore it says to Basit's hope, no, that's not the issue in the game. Shouldn't the argument be something else? You're not actually combining two things that weren't together. There were always electrons in the wire and there were always electrons coming out of the, in, in the wall and being produced by the, the company. Right. So you're not actually combining anything. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Also, that's what I'm saying, because the cloth in the gimel is also, the cloth is already there and the smell is already there, you're just putting it together, right? So there was the, that, that, that was the, the, the uh, side of the basitzma. The only thing is, and it's not really getting one piece, like the smell is getting one piece of the cloth. But to your point, when you're talking about the cloth, it's also the same thing. The cloth was there, the smell was there, you're putting it together. But the electrons are always in the wire. You're just causing the electrons in the wire itself to move when you're closing the circuit. But before there's closing the circuit, there was electrons in the wire. There's always electrons in everywhere. There's electrons in somewhere. Everywhere. Electrons are, there are electrons in the table. Right. So but what do you do when you're closing the circuit? You're getting the electrons here. You're just causing the electrons that are already in the wire to move. They are already in the wire? Yeah. There's a just waiting for turn. Electrons make up everything. There are electrons in the wood, there are electrons in the in the table. Is that a good point? That's a good point. But uh, but I'm wondering if it's if it's a if it's a bigger argument than the fact itself. That even though let's say it's raining outside now getting in, or whether it's inside, it's just flowing your arms. Basically, what we're talking about the change of status that the electrons are causing to the wires and to the machine. And the question is, if we can compare that to the smell that we're getting into the into the clothes. So this is the big machloikas about electricity over shafts between the basisrok and other poskim. And now the, uh, the the argument became basically, if we think about more of a long distance array, and you go back to the gemara, the question is, let's get back to the gemara now. We're talking about the concept of putting smell 